Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, myself Rakesh. So in this video, we are going to learn about some special sequences in regular exp expression. And these are very, very important in regular expression to understand. I have listed down some of the important ones. There are many more, but again, these are the important ones which will be used on a, on a, um, a regular basis, I would say, whenever you are going for a regular expression. So how to use that with examples and how to remember all this more important. I'm going to explain everything in detail. So let's get started. Okay. Now to do that, let's open. I am on the on my PyCharm. And on PyCharm, I am going to first of all create a variable called txt. And in the text variable, let's write a word and let's go with a simple word. Hello world. Okay, so I'm writing a very, very simple sentence. Because simple, why I'm taking simple sentence? Because this is easy to remember, okay? easy to use it. So go with a very simple sentence. Okay. Now, because I need to deal with regular expression, which is the module that I have to import, that is the RE, stands for regular expression, import RE. Okay. And then once I import, let me create a variable X or an object you generally call. So I'll create an object called X and then I'll take the name of the module RE and I will simply say find all. Okay. Now, if I ask you, hey, you need to find a word if a word is present in a string. String means a set of words or, or could be a single word, doesn't matter. But again, in this a set of word, set of uh, word alphabets are there or characters are there. Inside that, I need to find a single word. So, how to do that? Simply, if I say the, comma, txt, the variable if I pass, this is the syntax. So, this is going to find me, it will going to check and find me whether the word is present or not right if i'm going to run this what would happen it says hey yes the the is present in the entire word this is clear now let me ask you a different question if i ask you can you find out if the th is there at the beginning of the string at the beginning of the string if the word is present at the beginning of the string for that you have to use something called backwards slash a so how it is working let me show you so if i say slash backwards slash a and if i run this it is going to tell me yes my sentence is starting from the with the word the what if i'm going to cut this and going to paste it at the end of it is it going to give me any data it is saying no there is no words the starting uh, this string is not starting with the the so backwards slash a is used to find the word if it is present at the beginning now the question is how do i remember this so remember regular expression starts with the word r so if you put your right hand right right hand r starts with regular expression starts with r so right hand right hand backward slash so if you put your right hand you know people give this pose right so this pose if you remember you cannot do a, a left hand this will be a forward slash this is a backward slash so i have to use the right hand regular expression right hand so like this so this is the easiest way to remember okay so backward slash a this is going to find me if a word is present or an alphabet is present at the you can check with one word also let's say t i want to check with if the string starts with the word t you can see um okay i did not start so here if i write t and if I run this, it is going to say yes. So there is a space. Okay, why it is not working? Because I've given a space. Let me remove the space and run it. Now it is saying yes, it is starting with the word T. So this is understood with the experiment. Okay. Now, if I ask you, uh, how about you checking, um, you know, some, some alphabet, there is, this, this string has got three different words, T-H-E, hello and word. If I have to find if each these three words out of these three words, if any of the words starting with an alphabet or set of alphabets or set of characters, how do I do that using the slash B? So how this slash B works, let me tell you. If I write slash B and uh, this has to go with the word R. R stands for raw string. Okay, because it has to check not the entire string. The first one is checking the entire string as a whole. It is checking raw string. I mean, each word is going to check one by one. One in the entire string, I have got multiple words. It's going to pick each word and going to see if any of the words starting with T. For example, if I run this, it says there are two words in the entire sentence which is starting with T, which is correct in our case. You getting it? So slash B is me meaning 
it checks each word word by word okay what if i would like to check if that starts uh, ends with something for example if it is ending with a o or not so for that if i type o and this last b has to be kept at the end of this word okay so slash backwards slash b if i write this it is going to check if any of the word ending with o you can see it is there is a word single word which is ending with o for example i'm going to write one more o here and if i run this it is going to give me there are two different words which is ending with o so the use of backwards slash b is understood and this has to be used with the conjunction of r r stands for raw string clear very good let's get on to the next one if i have to check um, digits okay d stands for digits if the word contains any sort of digits so to do that if i simply write slash d and you don't need r okay only for that backward slash b r is required otherwise you don't so here let me put some numbers okay one two three four five so what happens it is going to check yes there are numbers but again it is going to pull out each number one two three four five what are those numbers it is going to pull out by writing slash d okay d stands for digits it's quite easy to remember now let's get on to the next one if i have to find out if a word contains white space okay let me correct the sentence it has become something else so the hello word okay if i have to check white space all i have to do write small w and if i run this it is going to see yes you know um backwards slash uh, sorry for white space it is s i forgot so backwards s so if i say s what would happen it is going to check how many white spaces are there so you can see there are two white spaces so it is saying there are two white spaces okay that is for s now what is this w i was writing any word character between a to z or capital a to z or 0 to 9 or underscore what are this let me show you if i write w means word now if i run this it is going to give me your entire string contains t h e capital h e l l o d but it did not pull the exclamation mark if i replace this with a underscore and run it it is going to pull that so only the underscore is can be pulled no other special characters for example if i write at the rate or anything like that if i'm going to run it it is not going to pull that okay you can see the output getting it that is for the any word character a to z a to z 0 to 9 or 0 0 r this is also very very useful okay now backward slash capital g set of characters end of a string for example if a word ending with l d at the rate for example i want to find out so for that all i have to write the word let's say i want to find l d at the rate and then this is ending with this one if any word is present which ends with ld so you can see capital g is written to find anything at the end if it is present okay so if you remember this specific ones there are also the if i write a capital w if i write a capital d there are other things but again these are the important ones which are um, for you it is very important to learn that so the capital one is the negative i mean negative ones it is not present something like that. so i am going to you know this is pretty simple one so all these things you should remember uh, when you have to learn regular expression so go with this basic set and the rest of the things you can always find out on google or there will be if you type regular expression uh, you know all the syntaxes are available anytime you need to use it but again if you know this basics it will help you to understand a regular ex expression so thank you guys for watching we're going to meet once again in the next content till then take care bye bye